Hi, this is Mike Strange, and you are watching the Deal Boxing Show. Yeah, thanks, Tim. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to be here on behalf of Mayor Dio Daddy and my fellow members of City Council. And I know that I have a number of them in the room. Obviously, Mike would be one of them. But as well, we have Vince here. We have Joyce. And um, we also have Lori, who will be a councillor very soon, I guess, in a month, right? So thanks for being out and showing support for Mike. Um, I wanted to say that uh, Jim did ask me to pass on his personal regrets. I think most of us know that um, you know he has Hodgkin's lymphoma. He's going through chemotherapy himself. Uh, so his treatments are once every two weeks, and you know he knows his schedule now. He has some good days. He has some bad days. Uh, I guess the good thing is though that after this Wednesday, he only has four more treatments left, and then uh, and then he's done. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. So. For Jim, like anyone who is battling something that uh, that he is, you know, we wish him all the best in his recovery, and uh, you know, Godspeed. We hope to see him back very soon. So, and Mike, I know you wanted me to pass that on to you. Um, as for Mike, I mean, I really don't know that there's anything that I can say that most people in the room, as I look around, don't already know. Mike's a great guy. He's he, he's very grounded, and he's very genuine in what he does. Anyone who has ever listened to him speak. That's right. Anyone who has ever listened to him speak about childhood cancer and, and raising money knows that he has extreme empathy, not only for the children and what they're battling, but also for their families, which is part of the reason why he likes to raise money for Ronald McDonald House. Mike understands that, you know, and I know the saying has been used before, but nobody fights alone. And when Mike gets on to one of his events, it's, it's absolutely wonderful because it ends up engaging all of us and, and wanting to do our part, whether we volunteer at an event or we support him online or whether we support him by way of donation. I think what it does is it gets us all engaged and makes us realize that there's more to life than, than just sitting back and, and watching other people do it. So, uh, Mike, on behalf of the mayor and my fellow members of city council, I want to say that, you know, um, congratulations, first of all, for completing the El Camino. And secondly, thank you for inspiring us and, and for making us realize that, you know, there's more to a community aspect than just ourselves. So thank you. I know everyone was asking me, oh, when's the welcome home party going to be? And kind of. We're a little delayed because there was an election going on, so we wanted to make sure that has no ties in with, with anything, so we want to do it uh, after. And I want to thank, first of all, everybody at the Hose Brigade, who are my brothers and my family and their wives and children for helping doing this. So thank you very much to the Falls View Hose Brigade for doing an amazing job. Uh, in that <laughs> Secondly, all the volunteers are helping out, especially, you know, Melissa, Tim Geddes, Jim Hess, uh, Paul, uh, the bartenders, uh, and especially my my mom and my sister for for helping us help me so much along along the way. For you know, there's uh, inspirational messages every day that my mom and my sister did for these kids every day, and uh, it really helped me out there when when I was struggling and um, gave me a little kick in the butt, I guess, when uh, I was tired. Um, and also for all the work they do behind the scenes, they don't want any kind of thanks or anything, but I want to really thank them for doing it. And telling, the most important thing, and I think people always have is, why, why the Camino, why Spain? And I don't know if anyone's seen the movie The Way, but it was a movie with uh, Charlie, or not Charlie, Martin Sheen, the, the father, and he, uh, his son passes away on the Camino, so he ends up going there and he does the whole trail and he spreads his ashes, and it was something kind of like, oh, that's kind of a cool thing, and then, no, I, I was thinking of every two years I do something, and in the first two years I did the box run, 2012, 2014, box climb, 2016 with, with Vic, Mike Sands and John Matreska, and then, so this was coming up, and I didn't know what to do. I was actually thinking about doing the Continental Divide, which is this crazy mountain from 
South America, North America, so they just hiked. Um, but the mountain thing isn't my kind of thing, as you know, I have shaky legs, yeah, very nervous, I'm not even a big fan of heights, so um, I decided, childhood cancer month is coming up, what can I do? And I said, well, what about the Camino? So I didn't want to do any big farewell, I kind of wanted to just get there, and when I, when I finally got there, I said, you know what, I'm going to do a childhood cancer month, and I'll dedicate every day to a child that I know that has fought cancer, and, and beaten cancer, lost their battle with cancer, and other you know, KO cancer, and so I was figuring out all the children, and I said, oh, 30 children, I wonder if I know 30 children. Well, I know 40 children, and that's just in Niagara region that have been touched by cancer, which is way too too much, obviously, so we doubled up on, on some of the days, and it's it's uh, it's children that I know personally, that we've known at the Hose Brigade, and, and we've seen at Heaters Heroes every year that they're fighting, and it's crazy, that I know 40 children in, in our region, so I decided, okay, I'm gonna go out there and, and do this run and, and dedicate every day. And, and, and it was tough, starting from the first day to the last day. But the, the most important thing is, you know, raising obviously funds. We did this milk every mile challenge, which was really fun and have someone out there doing something rigorous. And Joyce did it, she challenged the prime minister, still waiting for Trudeau to do the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but really cool stuff that you see on the screen. And hopefully maybe we can do that in the, you know, next September for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. But the, I think the most important thing, obviously, was, was to try to raise money for, for, for treatment and for stem cell research at McMaster. But all these flags that you see are dedicated to children. Um, and, and they all have stories to tell. You know, they, some, some have lost their battle and um, some, their story hasn't been told. 